angels and devils and all who may wander here it is amanda christina and i have a project share for you this is number three in my hundred things challenge now i will do a video i promise i um had a little accident where i scratched my face and i have a rather nasty little looking sore on it at the moment so i'm not really wanting to be on camera until that heals a bit more but basically the hundred things challenges is using creating a hundred things using the stash you already own and you're kind of not supposed to buy things while you do it that's not happening for me that's a long complicated story but anyway <laughs> um I have a few enablers in my life, what can I say? <laughs> but the, anything that I am buying is not being touched for this challenge. Um, yes, anyway. So these are two little baby books based on Rosa Kelly's... Um, she did a tutorial for these and these are so sweet if you remember I got some gorgeous papers from Miri Bluebeard so these contain the papers and some stickers that came with that and also some stuff from my stash that has been sitting around for a while so I'm going to just take these to one side because there's two they're the same style but I did change them up a little bit so this just has baby at the back uh, on the side just here it's for my friend Ginny and and my friends I should say because I love both of them Ginny and Andrew's son Asher they had a baby last year and Ginny wasn't sure she'd ever get to have kids so it was a really really special thing I found this chipboard in my stash when I was trying to find a set of animal stickers I had which you'll understand when you see the inside of the book um and I was like it's perfect and then I kind of had, had a thing where I forgot to check which way I was doing this and did it upside down. So this this sticker um, with family bound together with love and I thought Tigger loves to bound and bounce so I thought that was a nice little thing for the back and that covered the, the icky glue patch. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, you know me. So we have this, um, pre this is premium satin ribbons and I've just burnt the edges. As you can see I had a little accident with the ink but it should not matter too badly and then you open it up and these are your opening pages. You can see I've put a little strip down there and this is the papers that I got from Miri I had uh 10 sheets of paper I believe and then I've added the cover pieces from what she sent as well so I used 12 sheets of paper fully I think I found one more scrap that I didn't fully utilize and I couldn't have because I didn't know it was there but I will explain that as I go along so this is magnetized so you pull it out and you've got you've got three sort of photo mats or journal like she could journal here and here add photos here add photos or journal and then you open it up and you've got I love this I, I did these ranges um and this says blessings from heaven which I, I'm pretty sure I found in my stash this little sticker was something that Miri had sent me I used all the baby boy stuff and a little bit of the girl stuff just that I could get away with um this as you can see I'm not very good at getting things perfectly straight um this rub on was a little old so it didn't quite go on as fully as I wanted these are a set of Kayser journaling tags that I got off at spotlight one time for 50 cents they've been in my stash for a good few years is. so getting a chance to use them up I just created a little tuck spot like a little pocket so they could put stuff in the pocket can put the tag in there with writing on it hide something um there's a few really cool hidden things in this that are nice and then it just all it's got three magnets so it clicks together and won't fall forward oh okay i okay so i did put one magnet in the wrong spot okay so then there is and this says heaven sent and yes it's cut wonky there's a ball from the stickers miri sent me there is this is one of the things that i used and i thought you know what i don't think it's going to matter that it's pink and it says sweet dreams then you come down here and there is another little tuck spot with another tag from and again not perfectly straight i i have a really bad eye for things when they're i try so hard then you open this out and you have this baby boy paper okay so that was from my personal stash so 13 sheets of paper but i only used half of this so 12 and a half sheets then you have some more journaling spot things uh this was from 
my stash that I had and it says huggable baby and you open it this down and then there is I think the original one had eight and I added it I added an extra so that you could have 11 spots to add photos and journaling to so you just go through and I had meant to put stick something there to cover that spot um, I don't think it matters it's just ink but you know just me being me and then you just flip through then this is held together with what? Magnets. We love magnets. Then you open it up and all these tags are made using offcuts of the paper range. So some, and I've just adhered them to literally the card stock that I had left over from making the album. So I've just put a really generous amount in here because they can add photos to the tags, they can journal to them. I've added the little bunny here. As you can see, like I've paper pieced bits together. So that, I just thought that would be really nice is just to have tags. I mean, if they wanted to add extra photos in here to store photos, they could. Um, they don't have to use the tags. I just thought they were a really nice little touch. Um, you know, you could just journal little milestones on them, little messages. And then here, which is not what was done, but I couldn't resist. There's a tuck spot. Um, and I created a little baby book. Now, this, I, again, was something I had to take apart, take all the stickers off because I did it upside down. Um, so there's though that. Then you open it up and there's like just a little pair of socks, just this and just the baby. But what is cool about this is there is a spot in here and there are two hidden spots at the back. So if you wanted to write, say, letters to your baby while they were young to read when they were older, you could hide some letters or some little bits from their childhood in there. And I just thought that was a really sweet idea. Rather than sealing it fully, I just thought, how nice would it be to be looking back through a baby book and remember that you've hidden a couple of special little things in there for your child at a later date. So this is the one for Asha. And I made a friend on Twitch recently. Her name is Chloe and her son's name is Charlie. Um, so I ended up, I didn't have enough. I really wanted to use the same letters as I did for Asha. I didn't have the right letters. So I, could, I couldn't do Charlie's. There wasn't an extra H, which was very odd. Um, so Charlie gets this one with, just get rid of my hair from there. And then the back of his, you um, has this chipboard which again I found in my stash I don't know where it came from but I love it and then I just put this little um, families fill our lives with happiness and laughter because Chloe makes everyone who her life touches laugh and then this heaven's blessing chipboard was in my stash for years I wouldn't even be able to tell you how many years because it's something I would have bought many many years ago with the intent of doing an album for someone or doing something with it um and baby memories came from two different things then there's these little honeybees the honey and then I just add, the balloons were all separate but I added it so it looks like he's ho holding on to the balloons I just thought that was super cute same ribbon again I just basically um, when I bought this it came it came as one small length so I just cut it into four then you open it up and we have the same it's the same format but slightly different so you've got the little stop go slow with the thing there I, I and then you open it up and it says a little dream comes true which I thought was very sweet and then this paper so again journaling if you want to just put a photo there if you want to um, again photos journaling um, these and it just says cutie and then this I couldn't resist um, oh, there was a little blip there so I just added the little folded flower it says giggly because I know they giggle a lot and it says attack of the tickle monster and I could just picture Chloe um tickling Charlie lots and that would make a really nice little photo so I just used that that came from a die cuts with a view I think it is um one of their sentiment stacks I, I miss being able to get stuff like that like they were so cool and then I've just tied in the paper there then this one I did a little differently I just had this idea to have it be like and it says work hard play harder which again is something that reminds me of Chloe um 
Then we have like the giraffe paper with lots of room to journal or add photos. Um, this didn't, this went so non-straight, but the, the tape I was using is like once it's down, it's down. So tiny toes and I add these little booties and these little flowers from um, stickers that Miri had sent me. Um, and then just a little journaling spot. Um, it says enjoy life, which came from the same stickers as the back sticker did and the back sticker on that one um, with another sort of tuck spot here. We lift it up and you have the little baby album that says my precious baby boy. Then you've got the little flips. Again, it has the he hidden secret compartments. So you can see <laughs> those. And then I've just added in these. I've had these embellishments for a long time, so they've slightly discolored, but it says sweet baby and cutie on these little bits. Um, and they're in a like purple um, and it says delightful baby. And then you flip that down. Yes, it's magnetized. And I just put bundle of joy in that there bottle um just like little pictures really and then flip up and there's lots of space for photos and you can photo both sides so I did that rather than just doing the eight I liked the idea of 11 for some reason then you flip this up and it has the hang on, trying to fit this all in so you can see it hopefully it'll uh, readjust readjust um there is a little moon and stars at the top the little mobile and then the sun down here with again oh, I did add this little bumblebee to one of the tags and just all the little handmade tags I ended up with extra tags because you know they don't need every single tag I made because there was a lot. I made a lot, a lot of tags. But I just basically kept the extra tags to use for other projects. And that's it. Um, these took me a while to do because I did them side by side, but just because I didn't plan out where pages were going and stuff. Um, these are super cute. They're not super heavy, so they should post for around the 500 gram mark. Um, and honestly, they they were pretty economical once when I look at the fact that, I mean, I suppose because I didn't pay for some of the stuff that I got, but it gave me a chance to use up things that I had been gifted and that I had um, hidden in my stash. So let me know what you think of my two baby books. This is 100 Things Challenge number three. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow, I can't believe I'm at, I think I worked it out with some of the things I've still got to share with you guys. I think I'm up to five or six, which is crazy. I'm counting these as one because they are the same thing and they use a lot of the same resources. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Would you be happy to get something like this in the mail? Do you think that Chloe and Ginny will be happy to have these for their children? And as always, remember, you are incredible. You are amazing. And you truly do matter. I'll also make sure to link Rosa's tutorial below because this is where I got it. Uh, Rosa Kelly has the most amazing tutorials. Really easy to follow. I had no problem problems at all following this tutorial and altering it a little bit just to put my own spin on it. Anyway, I'll talk to you all soon, my and devils. Bye!